Hello Internet, this is Yushatak, and welcome to Minecraft with Yushatak. This is a special episode, because, as you can see, I'm standing next to a giant wall of pistons. Um, this is a secret project of mine that's actually not very secret, but uh, I'm not going to tell you what it is yet. I will show you when it is done, but uh, this is on my SMP server, so those of you who are on it already do know what this is, at least if you've talked to me about it. Now, those of you who have followed me for a very long time, or else who are very obsessively looking around at things I've done, have probably found this before. This is the Yushatak latch. I invented it when I didn't even do commentary yet on another channel. Anyway, this is a very simple replacement for an RS NOR latch, which I discovered pretty much on accident. I was trying to find a way to, to like, replace the RS NOR latch, but, like, didn't this wasn't even an attempt, this just happened while I was doing that. It's an AND gate with one of the sides chopped off. I was like, what'll happen if I do this, and then it just works. So, uh, as you can see, it sets that this side is on. Press this button, now this side is on. Press that button, and now that side is on. As you can see, it is a flip-flop, a latch, whatever you'd like to call it. It is, however, rather big. So, today, with the advent of repeaters and my greater understanding of redstone, I have minimized it down to 3 by 2 by 2 in size. And that's only this one torch that makes it too tall instead of one. Left side button. And right side button. Note that uh, you're probably going, hey, but why don't you just put a piece of redstone here to connect this to this directly? Well, let me just show you. Alright, so reset. That doesn't work. For some reason, when you hit this button to put the number in, it just doesn't work. I don't really know why. Some sort of redstone glitch, but uh, you stick that repeater in there and it's fine. I think it has something to do with the signal needing at least a certain amount of time to travel around on this side, otherwise it won't store the number because this torch has to put the signal back into this, which puts the signal back into itself, and if the route is too short, then it doesn't have a chance to turn itself back on. So it's like a, a clock that's so fast that it stops before it keeps going. If that made any sense. Anyway, using this very tiny one bit of memory, which I think is probably the smallest to date. My improved Yushatak Latch, the Yushatak Latch Mark II, I shall call it. I will... You know what? Hell, I'll just tell you what this is. This is going to be a screen. I have not named it yet. It, uh... It's analogous to an LCD screen in real life. Each one of these pistons was going to be a uh, pixel. And it was 16 by 16. This chunk was cut out for testing purposes. Anyway, uh, it turns out that since when you activate redstone, like here, it would hit both pistons, and there was just no way around that when they're packed this close together. <clears throat> so I could either space them out, which would make it look like crap, or I could double the pixels in the resolution, meaning it would be half resolution. Instead of 16 by 16, is 8 by 8. And uh, that is shown here. This is a 4 by 4 section of this, except it's actually set up as pixels, wired up so that each group of four pixels in front is a one big pixel. Each of these is an input, so if I turn on, say, this one, you will see that a two by two group comes on. If I turn on these two, about half the screen should be on. Yep, half of the screen is now uh, activated. Activate the other two. Whole screen's activated. Now, uh, if all I wanted to do was turn them on and off manually like that, I could just put one block and then a lever behind each block and actually make it be pixel by pixel. But I want it to be hooked up to RAM, which is why I'm designing these little bits. I'm going to make a set of video memory. I'm going to wire up every single one of these as a pixel. And then I'm going to create a very simple GPU to push images onto this screen. I have not decided the details beyond what I've just told you. I know there's going to be some details of how the GPU works, 
what the images are stored as, how the signals are sent and all that, but I have not worked any of that out yet. I am not one for plans, so it is just go as I go. <laughs> so I will let you guys know when this is closer to completion or if I have anything else cool to show you. But for now, Yushitak Latch Mark II. The original Yushitak Latch was released when it was beta, not beta, <laughs> so used to say in beta, during Minecraft Alpha 1.2.3 underscore 01, I believe. The original video where I released this version of the latch, now mind you, repeaters didn't exist, which is why it had to be this big, um, is going to be in the description, the link to the original video. So uh, I believe that that was created uh, before anybody else might have thought of this idea. Anyway, this new and improved tiny version is probably the smallest one bit possible with the Minecraft engine at the moment, including the buttons and everything. Bam. Bam. Yes. And uh, in case you didn't get it, in order to actually put inputs and outputs, one would be here, and one would be here. So, um, that is what I'm doing at the moment, at least in SMP. And with redstone, hope somebody finds this useful. This is Yushitak, signing out.